Hello again, everybody listening. In this video, this will be a video where I speak on the complexities of the dating scene. I'll title this one, How Dare You? Women and men are wasting our brain power on the bullshit that we call the dating scene. Here's what I mean. From the dawn of time, for about 200,000 years or so, it was almost entirely male human beings who have created the tools, machine, machines, crafts, they helped us conduct certain activities for wealth, exploration, and most importantly, survival. A man most likely created the bow and arrow. A man created the bridge. Men created swords, paint, plows, planes, automobiles, etc. The creation of these devices takes a lot of patience, a lot of control, self-control, focus, attention to detail, isolation from others, creativity, persistence, trial and error, and most importantly, just basic strength and, and intelligence. We men of the human species have used a lot of our brain power to create music and or paintings or our architecture. So in my estimation, here's what we need to do in the modern age. We, in my opinion, need to stop wasting time with women's immature and subtle nonsense. Shit tests, eye fluttering, hair touching, and all the other passive-aggressive nonsense is A, a waste of time, B, it's dishonest, C, it forces us men to try to decipher what you, the women, are trying to tell us when we interact with you, D, this gets us to waste a lot of our energy, our money, our time, our strength, and our brain power on immature, dishonest nonsense. And even worse is the dating industry that demands that we continue to do this. Pickup artists, players, dating, so-called advisors, so-called dating experts, authors, lecturers, etc. are making millions of dollars trying to convince us that we men should continue wasting time trying to woo women who don't respect us enough to be straightforward. Well, personally, I think this needs to stop. Women, like men, have some basic physical characteristics. They have mouths, they have brains, and they have vocal cords. How about use those to communicate your thoughts, your wants, your needs, etc., instead of making us figure you out? 21st century, we shouldn't have to be figuring, out, figuring you out anymore. That's dead and tired. No. So more and more of our brain power and strength needs to be focused on what we want in life that benefits us, being creative, being expressive, being a benefit to ourselves and humanity in general. And many of us might still date. In fact, many of us will still date. But like myself and many others, we will refuse to participate in the childlike games that many women still, for some reason, think they can play today. On the other hand, many dudes will not date at all and probably just give up altogether and probably never go on a date ever again. In my opinion, if women and society demands that we continue this stressful, mostly fruitless, and expensive activity we call dating, then it's the women. The women who need to become more mature, more straightforward, and more honest when it comes to how they treat us when they know that we're interested in them, or if we show any interest in them. If women are not willing to do this, this is the key, if women are not willing to do this, and if the dating industry is not willing to acknowledge that we men need more honesty, less complexity, and a higher success rate with better quality women if they can't see why more and more guys like us are wary of dating, then I say, how dare you? How dare you demand us men use so much of our value to interact with dishonest, game-playing women in the so-called dating scene? And that's all I got to say for now. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe for more. Peace.